trying to be positive. Um, but we also all have that inner voice that creates the doubts of, well, you're not good at this, or you're not good enough, or, you know, whatever. So when that voice starts to creep in, as it will from time to time, how do you deal with that? How do you get it back on track? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I can answer that on Again, we are our um, own worst critic, right? We, yes. are. we are our own worst critic. So having that positivity always and trying to plow through, it's inevitable we're going to be negative and yeah. have those things yeah. in our head, but how do you get past that? Because you're all very strong, mentally strong, physically strong women. How do you get past it? I've had to work really hard on this, especially lately. Um, and I have a friend who helps me with it. She has, I have this feeling that creeps in that, that I don't deserve it. Whatever it is, could be something little, something big. So um, she taught me to name it. Self-awareness is key, okay? Um, name that feeling. And I, I did. And when that you don't deserve this starts to creep in, I'm just become the boss of her. <laughs> is her name Karen? Ah, her, her name is La Ultima, the ultimate, right? In, in Spanish, because, um, <laughs> because. <laughs> um, and I just, so self-awareness is key, identifying that that is not real, you know, um, that's just a thought trying to jeopardize my day and squashing it, move in the other direction. It's really awesome. helped. Yeah. So awesome. Yes. For me, it's music. Or prayer, oh, it depends. Yeah. My, like if I want to like like you, like I know I'm I'm gonna boss this. It's usually music. Yeah, if yeah. I, if it's really got me beat down though, and I'm I'm low, then it's prayer, because I feel like that's just a more emotional state for me. Mm -hmm. um, or it's getting on the treadmill or like hitting the oh. pavement, because yeah. if <clears throat> if ever that doubt comes in, I know that the pavement is something I can conquer. Mm -hmm. And so those natural endorphins that you get from exercising. Yep. And just that, that accomplishment you feel, you're done with whatever that, that mm -hmm. exercise is. And for me, it's the treadmill or the pavement. But I usually kind of walk off of there with a sweat rag, feeling like, yep. doubt me now. I'm ready to go. Doubt me now. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, like I said earlier, it is okay to just cry. <laughs> Sometimes it is. And then, but we think so many thoughts every single day that we don't even realize that we're thinking them. Mm -hmm. And... I do the similar thing, like, stop it. Like, mm -hmm. right now, stop it. You almost have to have a staff meeting with yourself. Be like, mm -hmm. no, mm -hmm. this is not allowed because if I felt like I was a failure and I said that out loud or mm -hmm. someone was actually coming to my home and saying that, I would be like, get out of my house right now. Get out of here. Like, or my mom. My mom would never tell me that I was, wasn't beautiful or I, I wasn't able mm -hmm. to conquer whatever I was conquering. So I think about that, like, would my mom say that? No. Why are you telling yourself that? Mm -hmm. Like that's not that's not fair to you. You've got to love you've got to love yourself because you don't ever get away from you. So you're with yourself all the time. Mm -hmm. So you have to be nice, be kind to yourself, and I'm I'm working on it as well because it's hard. It's hard to compare, and um, I know for me when Corbeve came into my life, I was comparing my life to everyone else. That I I wasn't that the cookie cutter, whatever my life was, that introspective, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I realized that like my life is a flex. Like I, <laughs> like I don't yes. have to have a babysitter. Like I don't have to have, I don't have to worry about a husband. Like if my dishes are it. my dishes, you know? Yeah. Um, and so that's okay too. And it's not that I don't want everyone, anyone to feel jealousy of my life, but know that, you know what? Like I can make, so can yeah. you and whatever mm -hmm. that looks like. Run your own race. Come on. Yeah. Like, yep. yeah. And Comparison is the thief of joy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So it's, it's hard to stay positive. I know everybody's like, you're so positive all the time. No, sometimes I'm terrible and I'm like a toddler and I'm terrible to be <laughs> around, but I, I somehow push through it and yep. just be nice to yourself and it's okay. Speak those it. affirmations mm -hmm. to yourself. Yeah. yeah. Speak it. Mm -hmm. yep. I think self-talk, uh, for me, prayer, I, I, I got a main line to the big man upstairs. <laughs> yeah. It's just like that. I think it's just something for me where my faith is at, that calmness that I'm not in charge you know, um, and it's like uh, we have a good friend, Brian and Shauna Seawald, and they 
uh, we were talking one day about praying for patience. My grandmother always said, never pray for patience because you'll get all these trials. <laughs> so Shauna said, Brian always says that patience is a gift that God put within you that you pray for God to activate your patience. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I said, I feel like a power ranger most days because <laughs> yes. I'm like, you know, patience activate. <laughs> like, here we go. But I said, I feel like prayer and self-talk because I'm like, I'm better than that. Yep. Quit mm -hmm. thinking that. Calm down. First off, take a deep breath. Calm down. Take a deep breath and you're going to get this done. You're going to get through this, whatever it is. Satan, get behind me because you're not winning. Like, you know, I think um, a good outlet and some good music every once in a while don't hurt mm -hmm. either. Throw on some pink and yeah. go run. <laughs> I mean, just get, you know, pound that out. But yep. I love it. yeah, I think um, and what does that's it say? good for me. You've made it through every bad day so far. Yep. Yes. Yep. So it's right. not a challenge. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Awesome. I mean, well, we've that, talked for a while. I know. I know. We Mitch and Maria are dying day. over here. <laughs> <laughs> all day. Like all this girl talk. I know, but I really appreciate it though because one of the things that we really wanted this to be is like Missy was saying earlier, we wanted it for everybody to see you mm -hmm. and to know that they are not the only ones going through the struggles. Mm -hmm. You know, because when people see you at events they're like, oh my gosh, look at her on the stage. And you know, they do. They're like, everything is all together and how do I do that? Or I feel like I'm a little mouse and how am I ever gonna go tell Missy about this NRG that I'm taking out? I feel so great. Mm -hmm. You know, so to me, this was a wonderful way to like get the ladies minds to open up mm -hmm. and realize all of their possibilities. And yeah. I have to say thank you to people to yeah. the whole, to everyone yes. for, um, because it makes my heart feel joy to be able to be and develop friendships that truly will last a lifetime. Y'all stuck yeah. with me, Same. so <laughs> <laughs> thanks for picking my brain. Yes. Yes. Committed. Yes. yes. That's right. Yeah. The pleasure awesome. to be. Yeah. Yes. It is. It is. And I love that, um, that you're doing this because I feel like no matter where a woman's at in their life, um, there's a place for them here. There's a place for them with their, if they have young ones, babies, um, no children, children, married, single, it doesn't matter. We have a platform and a family for everyone and you'll fit in anywhere. I love that part of it because we're not all women driven. We're not all couple driven. We're not all focused on those things. We're diverse and I love that. We're from all over the United States, different places and it's just a wonderful experience and they need to come be a part of it. Absolutely. <laughs> love it. Thanks, Candice. Well, thank you all. Thank you. All for thank you. We appreciate you. Wonderful.